Hi there, I'm Egfer, and today I want to look at how we can compare signal strengths, so redstone signal strengths, and we can talk very quickly about uh, why you might want to do that. So when I built my slot machine, which you can see here, I needed to find out if we'd got a win or not. And the machine is based on signal strength, so I had to compare signal strengths to see if they were all the same. And there's lots of different times when you might want to do that. So we're going to have a look at different options and uh, some standard circuits and some circuits that I've come up with myself. OK, so let's dive straight in. We're going to be comparing signal strength from these furnaces and you can see they're all giving out different values. And that's because they've all got different numbers of items in them. It's a, a non stackable and in the smoke, I've got two non stackables. So we're going to compare those. And the first thing I want to show you was this circuit and this bit up here with the uh, two repeaters and the comparator, the dust behind it, is called a one detector. And the reason it's called a one detector is because if I give a signal strength one into here, it lights up. And that's because normally uh, if you have a higher signal strength, then that will come across to this redstone dust here, which will light this repeater. This comparison is on subtract mode with the front torch lit, and therefore it will turn it off. So if I used a higher signal strength here, you can see it's lighting this redstone dust. That then subtracts 15 from the side of this comparator, and it stays off. So this seems like a good way of comparing two signal strengths, because I can also put a, another signal into the side of this one. And if I have, for example, two which are the same, what I'm doing is I'm going one dust further along here, so it reduces the signal strength by one. I subtract it from here, and therefore, if they're the same, I'll get signal strength one, and that'll light up here. And if I have a signal strength which is lower, then I get uh, this turns off. If I get one that's higher, then this comparator turns off. So either way, I don't get anything out. And this is great, except in one scenario. And that is that one equals zero. So when I've got no signal coming in the side, this is zero. It's exactly the same as if it was one. I still have a zero here. Uh, but because this one is a one, then my one detector lights up. So in this scenario, one equals zero. And that's not a problem if you're using, for example, lectins um, to control the signal strength because they go from one to 15 or maybe 16, uh, depending on how you set them up, but from one to 15 usually, and therefore you don't have a zero. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, let's look at some others. Right, let's start by assuming we've got two different signals coming in and we want to compare them. And I want to know whether they're equal. And I also want to know if one is higher, which one it is. Okay. So at the moment, you'll see that both of these are giving off signal strength five. And what I can do is I can use a uh, block in front of them just here with a redstone dust in the middle. And this will always be the highest of the two. So because they're both five, that's fine. It's uh, still five. I'm going to put another comparator just here. So this has now the highest of either side. I'm going to put dust here and here. And a comparator here and here and another dust just there. So I know that these dusts won't do anything to this comparator because the most they can uh, come up to is this value anyway. We've already got the highest value at the back of this comparator. So this will always be that highest value still. And that highest value is then compared with both the left side and the right side. And as a result of that, if I put a lamp on here, like so, we can see that both lamps light because they are equal. And you could use an AND gate to um, then work out uh, that they're both equal. So let's do an AND gate quickly. I put two torches down here and I power redstone dust with both of those. And then put target block, so that redstone dust connects into target block. And this torch will only be lit if both inputs are equal. Okay. 
I take one off, you'll see it's not equal anymore. And if I put spoke there, still not equal. What you did see though is it flashed um, for a short time, so you might need to do some work to uh, with the timings to make sure you don't get an output until it's finished calculating. And let's grab the rest of these. So let's put them back to being the same. Now, if they're not equal, then one of these two will light up. So if my left-hand side is smaller, you can see this is single strength one, then um, only the highest one will light up. And that's how you can tell which of these two is also highest. So if I swap this down for smoker, the smoker gives out a single strength of 10, and therefore this one now lights up. So if you've got two inputs, this is a way of doing it. It's um, a separation of two between your inputs there. Um, what if you've got more different inputs and you want to compare all of them? Well, this is the circuit I came up with for my slot machine video and uh, it was necessary for me to have the inputs be right next to each other so one wide tileable and this is the circuit I came up with now I just want to point out that I looked afterwards and I found a similar circuit by somebody called or dizzy from 10 years ago and uh, it, it was kind of similar but it wasn't one wide tileable it, was, it could have been if he'd managed to make it that far but um, yeah, this is my version of that. So let's go with five inputs to start with. And we're going to um, extend some of these out. We're going to put redstone dust here. Then we're going to put comparators here. Redstone dust here. And these are all in compare mode. Okay. And then I just need target blocks here and here and normal blocks in front of the comparators, like so. And then we're going to make our AND gate again. So put torches on all of those. We're going to put some blocks above like this. And dust on that. Put a torch on the end. And let's have a lamp to show us what's going on. And basically, this will now light up uh, the lamp if all our inputs are the same. So let's start with four being the same and one being different. They don't light up, but as soon as they all become the same, then that lamp lights up. And again, like the last circuit I showed you, there is a timing issue. You've got to be a bit careful of your outputs. So if I put in a lower signal strength here, that's fine. If I put in a higher signal strength, then I do get a flash from the output as it comes on for a second. So remember the smoker has got signal strength 10. That's the highest of the signal strengths there. So there's a really simple circuit. I mean, you know, it's it's really not difficult to make. It's quite powerful. Um, and it was really useful for me for my, as I say, my slot machine. If you've not checked out that video, by the way, go and have a look. It's really great. And that's it. That's all I want to talk about. Um, I'm thinking of doing a video on a binary comparator, which I came up with actually probably a couple of years ago, but never got as far as doing a video on. So that'll probably follow at some point. For now though, let me just say thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed this kind of video or others on my channel, do check them out and please like and subscribe as well. It really helps me out. Okay, cheers. Bye-bye.